six months mm -hmm. at this point. Um, and then it's going to take a year to, 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 to get built to up to a year and three, four months. And most of that, most of the noise and the sound is going to be in that foundation portion in the first three months of the property of, of the building. So you would be able to afford to keep building even if there is a downturn in the economy. Yes, I mean on, on this particular on this particular building, um, you know, there's no loan on the on, on the property. Okay. Okay, my question. I have a couple questions. One is because I was writing as you. Um, one is um, what kind of windows? Windows. Aluminum. Aluminum. No, no, no. Double no. no. oh, slide. Double t no, no, no. Double pane. Uh, oh, it's a double pane glaze. The, Sorry. Mm -hmm. the reason why I bring this up is uh, this neighborhood is called, is uh, was one of the highest pollu uh, noise polluted neighborhoods, uh, and it's not just the street level. It's also uh, we have the sirens. We have things that compound uh, and right. the traffic. Um, you're on Eddy Street. Uh, the police station backs up the whole lane. I don't know if you're aware of this. The police station ends up backing up all the uh, cars, particularly around three or four o'clock, uh, uh, which probably uh, I assume some of the people that will be housed there, or, you know, to like fix that issue, uh, will be pissed at uh, not being able to get to their home. Um, oh, that's my take. I should have said this. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. In, in terms of uh, type of Glazing, it's, it's going to be double pane and not only for noise uh, uh, mitigation, uh, low reason, uh, also for energy requirements that uh, what, what we are uh, uh, proposing. And as, as far as the noise study goes, uh, we have a noise uh, consultant on board, basically, not only for uh, outside noise, inside, uh, uh, inside between the units and also between our building to other buildings. Uh, this is all uh, will uh, be in uh, uh, our uh, provision. So I'm sure you've kind of figured this one out already, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, you have the light wells. Uh, will they be blocking the sunlight or whatever you said, the airflow? But the, the, I'm more concerned about the sunlight in any of the uh, adjacent buildings. But somehow you put the you decided where to put the uh, yeah. Well, light we, wells. we try we match our light wells with the with the adjacent buildings, trying to uh, trying to work with them. But you got to remember again. This, this is a 25 foot gap, and we're putting a, an eight story building next right. to a six story and a, and a seven story, right? And so, well, um, well, so there is going to be. is not protected. Yeah. My commissioners always tell developers, light and viewing is not protected. But I'm asking the question. Right. You're, you're, yeah. you're answering yeah. a different way. No, I'm just asking because uh, the, the neighbors, you know, how they will. Oh, no, there's, there's definitely no, going to be an impact. There but, will be an impact. I mean, but we're, like I said, we try You're to, trying to minimize, minimize. minimize as much as possible. Correct. And, and also, on, on top of that, we have a uh, Mazur building right in front of the, uh, yeah, the their side. So yeah. basically, they're already uh, uh, shouting at these two buildings. And then the, uh, you'll, there'll be two entrances on um, Eddy Street, uh, one for the um, uh, commercial space and one for the... Uh, uh, Technically, for what? Uh, or the, the, the unit? I mean, the, uh, the development. Will there be two, two entrances, or be one and the There house? will be two for uh, residential units and one for uh, commercial. So it's total of three, but uh, one for residential. It's going to be main entrance. The other one is a code requirements uh, for egress, egress and uh, risk of safety uh, requirements. But uh, I just want to know if the, the commercial space will have its own. Entrance. Of course. Correct. And uh, um, you, you have no idea what you're going to market that as yet? Or we don't know. I mean, it's market so conditions. And, you know, to be honest, um, our partnership might actually retain the building. We, we actually might um, retain the building. I mean, my grandmother was a resident here at the Tenderloin for 45 years. I mean, this is, this is our blood. We're not going anywhere. Um, the developers, there's three of us. One is a builder. He's been here 17 years. Um, my other partner's been here his whole life. I've been here 40 years. Our children are here. I mean, we're local guys. We're not so totally you're going to all move in upstairs on the uh, no, floor parks. or you <laughs> and we can just see you every day. Uh, and you just have to walk the city hall and, uh, and to work, maybe? Uh, so, I mean, oh, okay. but it really depends on what the market conditions are when, when the building is completed. You know, yes. this is really nice of you to think about us. Sure. Thank you for joining Thank us. You guys. Um, Something that we've learned in this building is neighbors throw stuff out windows. 
so it seems to be an inevitable ha habit that goes We on. have that problem into the parking lots now. Um, and I'm wondering if you're going, what we've done here is we've got actually nets between uh, our building and the ridge next door. We have a net that goes the entire length of the building. That's for the birds. That's not for that. Right. That's not the reason why that's there. Well, no, because what, what, that's what, the what I'm getting to is <laughs> that's um, another problem. We yeah. had this building's had to take ex extreme measures and cost exorbitant amounts of money repairing damages from neighboring buildings. And the two buildings that you neighbor are notorious. Yeah, we're, we're 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 hoping. I mean, their reputation has actually gotten better in, in recent times, and. The building behind that is on the Ellis Street has some big issues as well. I think there's a lot of people that have been um, that have been relocated because there was a fire there fairly recent, and it, 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 it actually relocated a floor or two of people or three. And so, um, because we're no longer having the parking there, and we've sealed up the areas, it has not stopped people from climbing a 20 foot fence and from the neighboring buildings tossing desk. <laughs> like full side desk. I don't know how they got in the house, but uh, um, so we have hired their maintenance guy to to, to monitor it and, 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 and to and to take care of the lots. Um, we initially had offered to let them use the space in the in, in, in the meantime. We just couldn't. It just didn't work out. You know, I mean, we, we wanted to be good community guys and let them use it for barbecuing or whatever. It just insurance wise, and you know, they're. My daughter was going through some health issues last year, so I was not quite Johnny on the spot, you know, last year. So um, now we're at the point where, more than likely, that is going to that is going to be built. And um, initially, they had stated that there's another property on Ellis. There is another building very similar to this. That is a little bit further down the road, this far. Um, that one has a small shadow on the school that we're dealing with right now. With, with those people as well. So is it owned by the same development same and all that? Because sometimes you never know. Well, and, but it, may not, it might be one part or not. The, you no, know, but it may not. I mean, the, the thing, ideal situation is maybe that once this is entitled, we sell this project to someone, let them build it, yeah. and then we build the other one free and clear, right? I mean, you, you know, that would be ideal for us personally, and that's why, you know, like I said, there's a good chance that we would retain one building. I mean, I personally like the Eddie address a little bit more than the Ellis address. But Eddie came first, so. Well, you're on Eddie Street when you say this. Yeah. Right no, no, I actually. No, I, mean, I mean, you're on Eddie Street I, I right actually, now when you say that. But, but I actually like the Eddie address a little more, a little more than than, than, the, than the Ellis personally. Well, at least Cecil's not listening. You know, and I. He's, he's, he's got his name on on some of the street. Um, uh, well, I lived on Ellis, so it's not a big deal. I mean, I lived at the Travel Lodge. <laughs> yeah. Now it's the Cova Hotel, I guess, right? <laughs> so, um, any other questions? Does anybody else have um, any questions? Uh, um, Did you want anything mailed to you? Or, uh, I could we have an extra packet here. You're more than welcome to keep our material. I need, uh, <laughs> I need the blueprints. Oh, sure. You're more than welcome to have them. I've got lots and lots of metal. <laughs> and so uh, you're, uh, have, you, have you gotten any, because um, the packet has, like the summary has not been done yet, have you gotten any letters of support for your project? Because you only said six people showed up. So no, at this point, so I've worked. Uh, I've worked with Jane Kim. So Jane Kim's office is supportive of my project. Our, I'm our talking project. about the community, not that. Rand, uh, Randy. Because uh, I never Shaw. seen Jane Kim write a letter for a project. But oh yeah, she no, does, but she, she is. Does, but she is, is. She is. I mean, I've worked with. I've worked with her since I purchased this property two years ago. Okay. Indication. And so then, and then we've worked with Randy Shaw. Um, you know, and he, I guess he has a lot of involvement with the hotel next to with the resident hotel, Jefferson. Yeah, so, you know, and so our meeting is tomorrow with them. I would imagine it's going to probably be a little louder than this one. You know. Well, you might want to bring food to the Well, I got the Board of, the, I got the board of Appeals here, so I get to go to work while, yeah. while, while they get to go do it. <laughs> I get to go talk about 100 trees being removed on Irving Street. <laughs> oh, the trees! Yeah. Yeah, well, you're up against a, a neighborhood association wanting to keep them. So thank you guys for hearing us and letting us present. Uh -huh. You know, if you have any comment, please uh, give us a call. Or uh, do you want to have a card? So I can yeah, I'll leave it. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, when this go up on uh, 
on YouTube. You may want to have a copy. You may want the uh, link. Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll be in touch with Michael. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. You send him the links once it's out. I'll leave mine here. Oh. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, all right. We have we have more. We have more. Yeah, but I'm I'm running out of oh, yeah, battery power. Okay. Um, well, again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for inviting us, Michael. Thank you for uh, getting in touch with us, and uh, we're looking forward to work with you and hopefully uh, get your support. If you have any questions, my cards uh, are there. Please feel free to contact me or uh, 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 basically uh, get in touch with us. This, this was a, a meeting of several groups. People think it's wrong. I think it's all the ones that have been telling us. It's actually several groups. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's, 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 it's trying to save the issue of you having to go to so many groups. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm shutting this down now.